Immigrating to a new country can be very challenging, but our next guests decided to take the many lemons that life in Israel gave them and make lemonade. Actors Daniela Roman and Grant Crankshaw came to Israel from South Africa 20 years ago. Recently, they've put on a comedy show about life here in the Middle East titled Together Against the Odds. We invited the, both of them to our studio to tell us more about it. Thanks for coming in, Daniela and Grant. Thank you so much for Thanks having so us. Thanks so much So uh, tell me a little bit about, about this show. Okay, well, the show is about, really, it's a story of us. Um, we're a bit of an unusual couple. Mm -hmm. um, it, it tells of our meeting. Grant was um, a Christian Methodist when I met him. And I met him in the most unlikely of places, which is drama school, mm -hmm. where one does not necessarily meet marriage material, should I say? <laughs> um, um, At least not 20 years ago when same-sex marriage wasn't that... Uh, uh, no, but don't forget, <laughs> don't forget this, was, this was the apartheid era in South right. Africa. So um, being normal, and a normal heterosexual couple, was just frowned upon because interracial couples, wow, that was great. Okay? I'm and sure. coming out of the closet, it was <laughs> wonderful. But So we had to... Um, keep our relationship a bit of a secret, but we, we learned about each other. Yeah. And you came to Israel. Well, we well, fell eventually. in love first. <laughs> yeah. We got married first. Right. Had a little um, baby. He converted. I okay. converted, and then we came over. And that's all in the show. Right. Yeah, now, the whole story. Uh, now, the, uh, um, what, what aspects exactly come across in the show? What are the funny things that you found living in Israel, living in this relationship? What haven't we found funny? That is the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think in Israel, um, you take, it's, it's such a culture clash. So anything from, from the way people drive to the mm -hmm. way people act, to the way people queue in, in, in whether it's in the supermarket and- Do they queue? Is it, can no, it be we, queuing in Israel? We found- <laughs> well, well, they say in Israel, the queues aren't very long, but they're very wide. <laughs> you know, that, that logic. And they don't keep you on your toes. You, you have to keep toes. alert. Most yeah. certainly, most yeah. certainly. And no matter how long you stay here, well, it's only been 20 years for us. <laughs> So it's not that long, <laughs> but it doesn't change. You know what I mean? You don't become Israeli. Mm -hmm. You remain an Anglo. Yeah. And you're trapped in that sort of cycle of trying to be polite. So why and did Israeli. it take you 20 years? Did it take 20 years because it took you 20 years to find the funny aspect of it? N no, no. <laughs> we, we've been doing funny for a long time. We have. We but, just. Um, um, this show is particularly. I, I also do a bit of English stand-up comedy with right. guys like Liam, uh, Liamy Lawrence, and you know. And the, and you start to see all of this aliyah, and they're all talking about this adjustment that right. we're all trying to deal with. Right. And if you don't laugh, I think it'll drive you nuts. Right. But, so uh, let's let's talk about the target audience for a second, because I'm guessing uh, uh, um, immigrants, uh, olim to Israel, are, are the natural uh, audience. Do you also have Israelis who, who are coming? We do have Israelis who come to the show, absolutely. I mean, they find our view of them mm -hmm. very, very funny. Um, and uh, they enjoy it tremendously. But obviously, the minute we come to Israel with people who've gone through the Aliyah process mm -hmm. and start talking about that, then we literally have people on the floor because they just, they can identify with it. It's, it's part of what they've gone through. And seeing it on the funny side is just wonderful for them because, you know, it's a challenge living here. I'm not going to deny that. Um, but we think if you change, you know, if you look at it in a different way and you sort of laugh about it, it mm -hmm. makes it a lot easier. And knowing that the people are going through the same thing as you are, um, I think is a great comfort. Yeah, it, it, so. uh, it really is. Now, where uh, and uh, when are you uh, putting, up, putting the show on? I'm, I'm, not, I'm the one with a better memory. <laughs> <laughs> I, know that, I know that we have a show on Saturday, this Saturday, the yeah. 10th. Where? At, in Haifa. Oh, very okay. good. Very and the good. 10th at, in Haifa at Hecht House. And then on the 15th in Kfar Saba, in uh, Reisel Talbot Center. Right. We have on the 21st in Jerusalem at Harmonia Talbot Center, and the 22nd so plenty of in Be'er Sheva, yes, in Netanya. The so the best is to just, you know, catch us on Facebook, see what we're posting, and follow us. Sounds like a, a, a wonderful opportunity to get a different uh, 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 glance at life here in Israel. Daniela and Grant, thanks uh, again for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thanks for having so us. Thanks.